Hello to everyone. This is my updated video of my media room in my basement. So yes, got some new uh, seating put in. I got six home theater recliners put in. All power recline. Makes it very comfortable to watch a movie in. So if you're a first time viewer of the video, uh, I'll basically go over the equipment that I have here. All the speakers that you see on the floor were manufactured and produced by Klipsch. And the center channel is an RC62. Uh, reference to that's that is an a actually a different uh, center than my original video. In the original video, I had a RB81, uh, just as I do for the side surrounds and the rear surrounds. And for the ceiling speakers, I have Proficient 8-inch speakers in there. I have four of them. And for subs, I have four subs in the rear. They're mounted behind the wall here. They're 18 inch subwoofers made by Stereo Integrity. They are the D4 option, which is a dual voice coil. Each coil is four ohms. And each subwoofer is in its own subwoofer box. And the enclosure is a four cubic foot sealed enclosure. So once again, I have four in the rear here. So that's two up top and then two below. And then I have two more that are right underneath the TV monitor to the left behind these screens. I'll remove this top screen here so you can get an idea of what, what it looks like. So there you go, that's two 18s right there. And I must say they, they do the job very well. All right, so you're probably asking yourself, well, where's all the equipment? All the equipment is in a little hidden access room behind the TV monitor area. So I'll show you where that is. Just follow me. So here we are, where all the equipment is. So to start off, I have a Blu-ray player. It's a Panasonic. The head unit is a Marantz AV7702. That does the Atmos as well. This large piece of equipment you see right here is one of the amplifiers. It's a Emotiva. It's a seven channel. The model number on it is the XPA7. Behind it is another Emotiva amplifier. This is the UPA700. I'm only using four of the channels and it runs the ceiling speakers. And then this is the back side of the two amplifiers for the subwoofers. So the top amplifier is a Crown XLS 1500 that runs the two front subwoofers. And then I have a Behringer iNuke 6000 DSP that runs the four rear subwoofers. And everything sits on a table here with the subs underneath it. And the table does not touch the subs at all. And the subs are also on platforms to get them off the floor. Let you take a look at some of the, the cables. As far as speaker cables, I used primarily New Concepts speaker wire. And 
that would be the blue cable that you see here and also this clear and dark twisted cable that you see here both these cables go on up through the conduit all the way to the back to the four subs in the back and in addition you'll see a lot of the cat 6 cable around I ran, I ran all cat 6 cables to all the TV and monitor locations throughout the basement and I have my uh, my switches here and my server down there and have the cable TV switch right here give you another shot at the cabling here as you can see on top of the Marantz unit and also the the large Emotiva amplifier I have laptop cooling fans that extract the heat out of the unit and pull the air up and it keeps both units very cool and very stable have not had any issues with the 